Hey everyone, this is Beardo, and as you can see, I've got a big comic book haul for you. Now, I didn't get all of these books at once. I've sort of gotten them over the last week or maybe more. Um, so, I got them in sort of twos and threes. They weren't really worth doing a whole video you know, independently for each haul, so I decided to combine them all in this one big massive pile. And I am excited to show you what I got, because I actually have a lot of fun stuff in here. Now, first of all, if you remember my last video, um, my last, sorry, my last comic book haul video, you know that I got a whole slew of question books, and the only issue that I'm missing from the main question series from 1987 is issue number two. So sure enough, I got myself a copy of issue two. Very excited. I read the first issue, and it was really, really good. But it was also one of those where I didn't want to keep reading until I had a copy of issue two because of the way the first issue ended. So I am really excited to dig into this, and after this, there's no stopping me. I'm going to read the whole series in probably a few days because the first issue was really strong. Okay, and then um, I also got... Justice League number one. Now, this turned into Justice League International, which I also got a whole bunch of these um, in a recent comic book haul video. And this book was 75 cents, cover price, and the price I got it for. However, in the store I bought it from, everything in the whole store was 20% off. So the whole book ended up costing me basically like 60 cents, something like that. And I got a whole bunch more for about 60 cents as well. I also got issue number seven, and issue number eight, nine, ten. I almost didn't pick up ten because I really don't like that cover. <laughs> it's like really super frenzy in a way but in a bad way. <laughs> um, then I jump all the way up to issue 19. Now I had 12 through 18, I think, in my last haul, so I'm only missing issue 11 now in sort of the seven through 20 whatever chunk. Um, issue 18 has a cover that's um, Lobo standing over Guy Gardner, and Guy Gardner is like crying, so that's kind of a fun sort of juxtaposition there. And then I also got issue 20. 21, 22, and 23. And then finally, um, speaking of Justice League International, I got an international special featuring Mr. Miracle, uh, 1990 World Tour. Kind of excited for that. I like, I like Mr. Miracle. He's a good guy. <laughs> All right, we're going to jump forward in time quite a bit. Um... There is a title in DC's New 52 that I wanted to read. I started the series, really wanted going in thinking I was going to love it. And I don't know if my hopes were too high or what, but I just wasn't quite turned on by the title. I just didn't feel like it had a really clear direction. So I dropped the book very early on because there were a lot of books I wanted and only so many I really could get. Um, after I dropped it, those of you guys out here in YouTube land um, that kept reading it had some interesting things to say about it, and I've been really curious to find out what's going on. So I picked up a whole bunch of these books the other day. They are Captain Adam books. I had issues one and two, so here's issue three. Issue four. Five. Six, seven, eight, and the most current issue, issue nine. All right, and while we're on the topic of newer books, um, there's another book that you guys sort of have recommended the last few days, and it was a book that I swore I wasn't going to get. But you guys are such a bad influence on me. <laughs> um, and so I picked it up. I really, I swore up and down I would not buy it. I would not buy it. I would not buy it. Last Wednesday came around, I saw a bajillion copies of it, and I refused to even look at it because I didn't want to be tempted. But of course, all you guys out there picked it up, and all you guys reviewed it, and you all said it was good, so I couldn't resist. I have to admit, the last series I was really burned by. I just didn't like it. But after flipping through this issue one, um, 
I don't know. I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to be pretty good, too. So, um, it is Batman Incorporated Issue 1. Alright. Now, that's it for newer books. There's two more books I have to show you that I'm really excited to share with you. Um, you may not know why at first, but um, it will become clear. And they are Star Slayer, Issue Number 2 and Star Slayer issue number three. Now, I'm pretty excited to read Star Slayer. Star Slayer is a, I believe, a Mike Grell creation written and illustrated by him. And uh, it's through Pacific Comics, and he's sort of like a Babylonian type, you know, maybe a Conan type guy uh, who is caught in the future in some kind of intergalactic war in space or something. So it's sort of like Babylonian Flash Gordon, if that kind of makes sense. Um, and that sounds kind of fun, actually. I'm pretty excited to read it. However, Star Slayer has nothing to do with the reason I bought these comics. Um, for those of you who have been with me since the beginning, you'll know that my very first video was on one of my favorite characters in comics. And he's someone that you don't really hear about very often, even though he actually got his own movie. Now, he's a character that was teased in Star Slayer number one. However, he didn't really have a first, like, official appearance until, until Star Slayer issue number two. And that is, drum roll, There we go. The Rocketeer. I love Dave Stevens' artwork. The Rocketeer is just one of the greatest characters out there, in my opinion. And this is his first full appearance. Um, he appears after the uh, letters page, which is kind of interesting. And he only has probably five, six pages devoted to this book. And uh, he did also get the back cover. The Rocketeer by Dave Stevens. Here's excitement dished out in brutal chunks back when the teeth of justice bit deep into the throat of crime. Wonderful character. Dave Stevens' art is just phenomenal in this. If you haven't read The Rocketeer, I highly recommend it. You can get all of The Rocketeer stories bundled together. Um, you can also get... Um, there's The Rocketeer Adventures, which IDW has recently put out. Um, they put out an Adventures 2 as well, which I think is still going on. I was collecting it, but I guess I haven't... I don't remember seeing it this last month, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, okay, and then I will show you in issue 3, he does appear again. Also at the end, although this time he is ahead of the letters page, which is kind of nice. Moving up in the world. And then, so here's chapter 2. And then that was the last you saw of him for a while. On the last page here, there's a big question mark. Okay, reader, the fate of the Rocketeer is in your hands. If you'd like to see him fly again, write us, Dave Stevens. And he was gone for a while. He appeared in um, Pacific Presents, I believe is the name of the title. And um, he was there a couple issues, and then finally he got his own title uh, called Rocketeer Adventures, I believe. Um which didn't come out, man, it was definitely mid-80s by that time. So anyway, I'm really excited to have basically the first full appearance of the Rocketeer. This book cost me a dollar, which is the same as cover price. So that was incredibly exciting. Great deal I got online there for those. Anyway, and that wraps up my Minutia Minute comic book haul. Hope you liked what I got. If you have any comments about what I got, let me know down below. And um, I'm excited to read those Captain Adam books, I have to say. Um, I know the next issue comes out in a couple of weeks, so hopefully I'll have them finished up by then. If they're as good as I'm hoping they are, uh, you may see that on my regular Wednesday review uh, moving forward. So anyway, I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.